You know, Celebrate Recovery is not just for drug addicts and problem people. If you've experienced any type of hurt in your life or hang-ups or habits, then you probably qualify. What we do at Celebrate Recovery is we go through eight principles and 12 steps through a program of testimonies and teaching and small group discussion. It's really helpful. For instance, principle number one is to realize you're not God. I'm not God. Well, that's simple, isn't it? Well, yes and no. And we need it to drop from what we know down into our heart and soul. That's the process to realize that I'm really powerless to change the tendencies I have in my life to do wrong. I need God. Matthew 5, 3 says, blessed or happy are those who know that they're spiritually poor. There's no shame in going to CR, attending CR, because we are better together. To admit that, that we need God, that's the first step of Christianity. I mean, are you gonna let past failures dictate your future? Maybe even stop you from having a brighter future? Maybe you're afraid of change. Maybe you have a lot of fears that you, you're not sure what it means. Well, all these things by admitting you're not God and admitting you need his help, admitting you need his grace, helps you to take steps forward in your Christianity. God has a good plan for your life. He wants you to experience a good life. He doesn't want you to be stuck in your dependencies or maybe your habits or even the hurts and hangups from the past. He wants you to move forward. Isn't it time to get unstuck from all that stuff? Yes, it is. You've got to be willing to get rid of it though. We've got to be willing to receive his help, receive his grace so that we can move forward. And that's what Celebrate Recovery is all about. It's not about how we started in this life. It's really about how we finish it, how we finish our race. So if you're willing to step out of the denial and into the life that God has for you, Celebrate Recovery is probably for you.